All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is just a gonna be kind of on the shorter side of a tutorial. I had a friend who needs uh, a logo cleaned up so that she can engrave that on a cutting board. So I'm just gonna walk through a quick process of how I do that. Um, I'm using Adobe Photoshop and probably Illustrator, but uh, you can use any any photo editing program you want, even some of the free website one so here's what she wants to engrave so this is what we have to work with and uh, I think I'm going to do a couple of versions um, one where uh, the infinity symbol and homes uh, is cleaned up so we engrave this um, and nothing else and then another one where um, we actually engrave this section and then where the text and symbol are, um, those are not touched, so kind of a reverse engrave. So um, for this first one, I'm going to select all of this out here. I'm just using the magic wand selection tool. and. I'm going to invert my selection. I'm going to copy it, paste it, and delete the background layer. So this is pretty good, um, but we still have all this blue, and I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, Let's see how we're looking. Um, actually, I'm going to try to clean up this gray area real quick. I'm just going to paint it so it loses some of that pixelation that we got there. Uh, I'm at a 50% tolerance. I think I'm going to drop a little bit. And I'm also going to grab this empty section out here. Going to invert that. Copy. Paste. Remove the prior layer. That did not work very well. Well, I'll tell you why. Let's go back. So, if we're going to engrave this stuff, um, then we're going to make it darker. That part down there I'll have to work on separate, but let's go ahead and just go This part down here is throwing me. I might have to uh, just copy it out and paste it back in for ease. Um, right, let me copy that logo. Let me put it in a new image. Turn off the background. So. What I want to do with this, if we're if we're just taking this, um, you know, I still need that text there. One sec. All right, so we have a different picture. It's uh, mostly the same. However, what I did is I just went out to Google, and I found their website, and I pulled that image down, saved it, and uh, for what we're doing, it doesn't have that extra little shadow around here, so I think it's going to work work out nicer um, so 
So I have some gray selected, some white selected. I'm going to try to select similar and see how much we get. I'm going to turn that up just a bit. So that's similar again. Oh, that was too much. Let's see what we get if we copy and paste that layer. All right. That's a little pixely, but it will work. So one thing we can do right now is just save this as a PNG. This is going on a cutting board. So engraving this as a graphic is totally fine. Uh, we don't even have to turn off the background because the Glowforge is going to ignore white anyway. But if we did, we'd have that. So what I want to do also is select everything, copy, come over here into Illustrator, we're going to paste, and we're going to make a vector out of this, just in case she needs. I'm just going to zoom in so we can see it. Turn on my image tracing window. Gonna hit advanced so that we trace everything and we ignore the white sections. So if I preview now, uh, turn off white. And then this is somewhere where you have to play with your threshold. We're doing pretty good up here. This small text at the bottom is kind of not what to play. We're going to turn on more paths to try to get some more definition in that text. That's Looking pretty good. I want to tweak the threshold a little bit. All right. I kind of like that. Um, once you have done your trace, you're going to go up to Object, you're going to go to Image Trace, and you're going to Expand. Now that's a vector. With the vector, you can go in and, and edit out any nodes you need to. Like, we got a little curve going on here. Was that in our original? Not really. So I'm going to grab our node editing tool. I don't need these paths here. And then I might grab this point, try to pull up. Uh. I'm not really super happy with how that center is working out. Um, it's not very circular. So this also is just because we're starting, you know, garbage in, garbage out. That logo is very low quality, low resolution, and that's what we get. So let's go over here. We have a good uh, P 
PNG to engrave with. So let me save this one out first. And we're going to save. Uh, so there is one version which you can engrave. Um, my Glowforge is off, but I'll bring the logo in just to see what it looks like. Set that up. My standard engrave settings are 1090 power. Um, I just did some cutting boards recently, uh, and I did those at 1,000 full, 270 LPI. So, let's zoom in here. This is what we would be engraving. That looks that'll come out really nice. So in this, everything pink is going to be engraved. It's going to be deeper, and then the section around it won't be touched. So we could also do the reverse of that. Let's go in here. Going to undo a couple of steps. So here's how we started. And so in this case, um, we would want everything black to be engraved. everything white and gray to be ignored. So uh, what we do is we select all of this again. Similar. Select the inverse. We're going to paint everything a solid black right um, we're going to inverse our selection just to be sure we're going to paint everything else white this version Bring that into the Glowforge. It's over here in the corner. <laughs> So in this case, we would be engraving the square section, and then Infinity Homes award-winning builder is all transparent, it's clear, and it won't be engraved at all. So uh, my cutting board, I would probably go this way, uh, especially with, uh, otherwise I would like to add a different border right here, get it more consistent with this amount of space on either side so I think we're gonna trash that guy we're gonna call this guy good and uh, see if see if my friend likes that all right I hope that was helpful for you guys and like I said we had this one if we if we had a better result with this what we would do is we would just export this selection 
we save it out as infinity homes. vector I like to save everything as a PDF you could save it as a SVG as well but there's a vector in the PDF so it's fine I'm just going to change where it goes all right and then we'll bring that one into the Glowforge also You'll see now, you can ignore that. This one, our option is pretty much going to be an engrave. Engrave or, or ignore it. Uh, a bonus to doing it as a vector is we get, we get all the options, right? So let's move this guy. decide how big it's going to be. Alright, so our options for this guy, uh, we can score it. So only the white or only the pink lines there are engraved or scored. Uh, everything else is left alone. We can engrave it. So that's pretty much the same result you're going to get from working with that PNG. Uh, and then if you wanted to, it's available as a cut. Um, it's not going to work as a cut. The infinity homes and everything, it's going to cut out of this. But you do have cut as an option. That's all I'm saying. That's something that Vector is going to give you that a PNG is not. So. All right, I think that will end this little quick tutorial. Thanks, guys.